applications for what's called the Parental Choice Tax Credit were supposed to become available this morning, but that has been pushed back. The Oklahoma Tax Commission announcing last night it would push the application date to Wednesday afternoon at 2 o'clock and the 60 day priority period end date to February 5th. Now, Signing some obstacles and ensuring a seamless rollout of the program, the OTC said, quote, due to the popularity of the program, it is imperative that everyone be given the opportunity to have the best possible experience on the day the taxpayer application opens. Although the majority of parents have received their enrollment verification forms and are ready to apply, we do have parents who have not received their form as of close of business Thursday, November 30th. Now, the program has raised some eyebrows for paying an out-of-state company with tax dollars to help run it, among other concerns. So, 2 News Oklahoma's Douglas Braff spoke with Oklahoma Senate President Pro Tem Greg Treat and goes over those concerns. Douglas, good morning. Good morning, Justin. Yes, going off what you said, the OTC has teamed up with a California company called Merit International to run the program with that contract costing nearly four million in taxpayer money. Yesterday, I asked the president pro tem if this was the most efficient use of tax dollars and the most efficient way to promote school choice. He tells me the opportunity for families to change generationally outweighs any early hurdles. I think having an independent uh, third party administer it probably was a good decision. We're not involved in the intricacies of who gets chosen. That's an executive branch function. There have also been concerns raised about those schools using the tax credits as an excuse to hike, hike up tuition and fees. As for if lawmakers are considering any potential measures to mitigate this, Treat says the government can't control their tuition simply because they're private entities. I think there would be a backlash within their existing family community uh, and it's not the intent of the legislature just to be able to raise the tuition commiserate with whatever the tax credit is but i think i think the market will take care of that i think families will demand uh, that they're reasonable for more details about the program and how to apply we'll have all that later this morning on our website kjrh.com in the studio douglas braff two news oklahoma douglas thank you very much